we found is that the benefit that people get from blood pressure lowering was irrespective of what the baseline blood pressure was. There was no evidence that people whose blood pressure was lower did not have the same benefit as people whose starting blood pressure was high. Elevated blood pressure is the leading risk factor for heart attack and stroke worldwide. It affects about 1 billion people worldwide and every year about 9.4 million people die of heart attack and stroke because of elevated blood pressure. What we have known for quite some time among people whose blood pressure is substantially elevated, if we reduce the blood pressure we can reduce the risk of heart attack and stroke. What has been less well known is reducing blood pressure among people whose blood pressure is deemed to be normal or mildly elevated um, and among people who have had previous disease. What is the impact of reducing blood pressure in these people is something that we wanted to investigate in more detail. The implication of these findings are that we should now stop worrying about a specific target, a specific arbitrarily defined target of a blood pressure above which we should treat patients and below which we can ignore what the blood pressure is. Instead, we should focus on people's risk. Um, if someone's total risk of suffering a heart attack and stroke is sufficiently high, um, then blood pressure lowering should be offered as a treatment to that individual. If these findings are implemented into practice, that could have huge impacts globally uh, in terms of reducing the risk of heart attack and stroke. Um, by being able to treat people whose risk of um, heart attack is very high, but their baseline blood pressure is not very high, we could gain substantial benefits uh, in terms of health outcomes and save millions of lives.